a Nigerian, but here are five things I hate about Nigeria. No matter how white we try to paint this fact, we still can't cover it up here, guys. Because Nigeria is a diverse country made up of more than 250 ethnic groups, more than 500 languages, and approximately about 182 million people. The heck? So yes, Nigeria is a tribalistic country. In Nigeria, it's very rare to see couples from different tribe getting married to each other. For example, I am Igbo, and in Igbo land or in the eastern part of Nigeria, <laughs> in translation, it means it's very difficult to see an Awasa person getting married to an Igbo person. Really? In fact, these two combinations are practically and literally impossible in Nigeria. Why? I don't know, but that is the way it is here in Nigeria, and I hate it. Yes, Nigeria is indeed the killer of dreams. A lot of people's dreams have been killed, destroyed, shattered, and some people are even left with no purpose at all. That is the extent of it, my brothers and sisters. Personally, I've always dreamt of building my own business even in fact i want to establish myself here in nigeria but recently i have been doing some rethinking some deep rethinking because with what is happening in nigeria the insecurity and whatnot and the most painful part of it is that the government doesn't give a damn about our citizens and that is what i hate the most the truth is that at the moment, the Nigerian's dream is starting to become a nightmare. Nigerians are probably the most talented and creative people in Africa. I mean, look at our artists. They are making names internationally, not just for themselves, but for Nigeria in general. But unfortunately, not every Nigeria is born to become the last Zaz 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 Yes Nowadays, Nigerian youths are more keen on Jabba Jabba in Jabba dead In translation, this means to run away This is a slang used in different contexts but in most cases, it is used by young Nigerians to tell you that they want to run away from this entrapment we call Nigeria. Okay. Nowadays, even our professionals, the, the doctors, the lawyers, the lecturers are now leaving this country because they are not being paid enough or being paid well. Some of them are not even paid at all. So tell me, what is the way forward for Nigerians? What is the way forward for our youths? So yes, I think this is more than enough reason to hate this country. A country that fails to secure and protect its citizens is a weak giant. A country that is unable and unfit to provide adequate security, accountability, protection of human rights, and job opportunities is... It's, it's a... A weak giant, okay? A weak, weak... We can be giant. Nonsense. The bitter truth is Nigeria is a lawless country. Well, yes, I do know we have the 1999 constitution, which we still use up to date. But the question here is, are these laws and uh, rules actually being um, duly and properly implemented? Are these laws actually practicable here in this country? Well, uh, I I'm going to speak for myself. Based on my experiences, these laws are useless. It doesn't work in this country because the consequences of breaking those rules are not being implemented properly by the of officials. So I think what Nigeria needs right now is nothing but a working system that is going to put everything the way it, it should be.
anyway guys without further ado if you like this video make sure you like subscribe and turn your notifications to see my videos bye bye you know we have the 1999 in translation this is a slang used in the, the in translation